about designer bags that will be everywhere in 2020. Are you ready? Let me go ahead and get started. We are already into second month or third month of the year. Time definitely flies. Yeah, I don't even know where all the time went. However, have you noticed some of the designer handbags that you already seen everywhere in 2020? For example, like the Chanel 19 handbag. Oh my goodness, I don't know how I feel about Chanel 19. Because it looks really puffy and I believe the style originally started out by um, Saint Laurent And all of a sudden Chanel has this similar look handbag called it Chanel 19 So I don't know who came out the handbag first, but both are really really similar And like I said, I don't know how I feel about the design uh, The material the look of it because it looks really puffy and reminds me of Saint Laurent Toy Lulu You know the the, the look of it. So if you have one you're lucky because you Somehow got hold of it, but it's really really hard to get one. So uh, the Chanel 19 handbag might be named after 2019 and as it was launched at the end of last year However, it is designated for the big thing in 2020 The quilted bag is a re-imaged version of the house classic 2.55 bag But the 19 has a really chunky chin strap. Yeah, the chin is thicker Bigger, bolder So if you like that kind of handbag, that kind of look Power to you. For me, I don't know how I feel about the, the puffiness looking, so I have some reservation. But if you already have one or if you're thinking about getting one, I strongly suggest you guys to go out, watch a lot of videos, do your research before pull the trigger because I don't see this handbag. It will, uh, it's it, like I said, it's a trendy handbag, it's not a classic piece. So, for you guys to spend that kind of money. For you guys to spend a lot of money on a handbag, uh, you probably want to think hard before you put a trigger. So yeah, number one is the Chanel 19 handbag. The next one is the Bottega Jody bag. I, like, I, I really don't know how I feel about Jody bag. I mean, I have a Bottega wallet. I really love the weaving. I mean, the the design is the craftsmanship is is great. It's unbelievable. I mean, I love it. However, with this Jody bag, it looked like a heavy duty tote. I mean, see, I mean not tote, heavy duty tote, but twisted in that one oval shape. So it just looks really odd to me. And for me to spend that kind of money to buy this shape of handbag, I. Uh, I, I really don't know, but you will see it in everywhere because this Bottega was arguably the most influential brand when it comes to accessory in 2019. And this is certainly uh, to continue this year. It's hard to pick one style that will be the most impactful, but this this handbag ahead is the Jody shoulder bag, which is quilted leather and a distinctive knot on the strap. So if you like the knot uh, in, in on, on your handbag, maybe maybe that's something that you like. But people definitely can tell that's from Bottega, and you know if you like. You don't like the monogram all over the place. You don't like the big logo. This might be another one that you know you can consider added to your collection. So the next one is Alexander McQueen the story bag. You know what? I re I really like it. I really like the story bag because it looks similar to. Petite, uh, Peche Matisse, it really, and it's similar to the Dior Montaigne. So this Alexander McQueen uh, released a story bag at the beginning of December 2019, and the crossbody has already had quite the celebrity endorsement because it was recently spotted 
by um, you know wear it by Selena Gomez and uh, Kia Geber. If you don't know who's Kia, uh, Kia Deb Geber, she's the daughter of uh, Cindy Crawford. So I really, I mean, I really like it because the story bag looks really, really. Um, Elegant. This is something that you will definitely see in 2020. And the next one is called the Simon Rocha Pearl Bag. Uh, I love pearl. I really love pearl. But I don't know if I will get a pearl bag. Seriously. And pearl bag is only for a formal event. For example, cocktail party, banquet or um, any formal type of um, you know black tie party so pearl bag is something accessorize your outfit so if you don't if you only wear like a black velvet black dress wearing a pearl bag it definitely just bring out the whole look so pearl bag this handbag has not even seen release yet but it's already a top seller believe it or not okay so uh yeah you will definitely see this handbag in spring and summer of 2020 okay the next handbag that you will see everywhere in 2020 that is gucci 1955 horse bit bag See, I already got it. If you haven't checked out that video, please go check it out. But this is a beautiful bag, and this is a, such a classic piece bag. And I think this handbag is here to stay. And with the one Sarah got is the um, you know, um, with I think it's the the brown color. You know, the leather is brown with the all the uh the logo gucci logo but they also have red color they also have one without all the logos so if you don't want to screaming really loud without all the logos you can get one with just the uh, the leather no canvas so this 1955 horse bag 1955 horse bag bag is a modern classic yeah i think yeah, it is modern classic. As the new edition has already spotted on so many influencers, it has a real vintage feel thanks to the gold clasp and classic silhouette and use of the house signature logo print. So I really think that, I mean, although it has the vintage look, but also added to the modern classic. So this handbag, you will definitely, definitely see it everywhere. And they're going to talk about it in 2020. And if you haven't checked out Sarah's video, you know, she has one open uh, unboxing and another one is compared that particular bag with, um, different of uh, other similar handbag so that one definitely you will see everywhere in 2020 the next one is the Celine Team Triumph I don't even know I pronounce it correct or not but based on Google that's how it pronounced it's called Celine Team Triumph Okay, correct me in the comment below. This tribe is a new bag bearing the original Celine logo created by the fun founder of Celine Vipiana in 1971 and is a style that has already been spotted on countless celebrities including Angelina Jolie and Lucy Boynton. So this handbag, I really love the logo because it looks really unique. I have never seen that logo, but you know what? They have two different material. One is the canvas, and I think it's a canvas. Looks like a canvas. I'm looking at my screen. And another one, it looks like um, a leather finish, you know? So it really looks similar to the Celine box handbag. Yes, it looks really, really similar to the Celine box bag i mean i'm gonna put a picture to compare so these are the handbags that you will see almost everywhere in 2020 and tell me which particular handbags that i mentioned it that is under your radar that you're interested to check into or you are interested to get one i mean for me i really think uh, the story bag is a good one to get and i really think um 
the Chime, maybe the Chime Team Chime by Celine, and definitely, definitely Gucci 1955 horse bit bag. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any handbags that you think is gonna see everywhere in 2020, please comment below and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Join my YouTube family and I will see you guys in my next one.